Hello guys, I finally got the brand new DJI Mini 2 Fly More Combo Pack and in this video I am going to unbox it and show you what this tiny beast comes with in the box. So without any further ado, let's start the unboxing process. The DJI Mini 2 Fly More Combo Pack comes in a white box like many other DJI drones. This under 250 gram drone makes it really easy for the beginners to fly and it, it does not need any registration in many countries. On the right side of the box you see some of the specifications and on the left side you will see a DJI logo. Let's open the box and see what comes inside the box. The Mini 2 and all the Fly More combo accessories come in this beautiful bag which is 100% made of polyester. I really like the quality of this bag and it feels really nice in the hand. Let's open the bag and see what we get inside it. When you open the bag you would see the DJI Mini 2, a remote control, an accessories box and a manuals box. Let me first open the top section of the bag and see what we get there. When you open the top section you would see that they have provided us with three pairs of spare propellers which also have 18 spare screws. They have also put a screwdriver which you can use to change the propellers whenever you need. The other thing which comes inside the top section is a pair of control sticks in case you lose them. There is nothing else in the top section of the bag. Now let me bring out the remote control and show you how it looks like. I suddenly pressed the power button and it showed the power level of the remote control. I really love how they have built this remote control. The quality is really nice and it fits in my hand really well. At the front of this remote control you would see a button for changing the gimbal orientation and another button for recording videos and capturing photos. By pressing the power button once you would see that it shows the power level of the remote control. At the bottom of the remote control you will see that they have provided us with two control sticks, which I think is the best idea that they have come with it. Overall the build quality of this control is really good as I said and this thing is even heavier than the drone itself. Now let me bring out the accessories box and see what we get inside it. In this box you would see three different kinds of cables for different smartphones. One USB-C to micro USB for older Android smartphones, one USB-C to USB-C for newer Android smartphones, and also I should mention that there is a USB-C to lightning cable in the controller itself. You would also see a USB to USB-C cable for charging the drone, charging the controller, and charging the two-way charging hub which you see here. This two-way charging hub is really useful. As you see two of the intelligent flight batteries are already stored in this two-way charging hub and one of them is stored in the DJI Mini 2. This has one input and one output. You can use the input for charging the batteries and the output for charging for example your smartphone whenever you need. These intelligent flight batteries have a capacity of 2250mAh and give you up to 31 minutes of flight time. The last remaining item in the accessories box is an 18 watt USB charger which you can use to charge your remote control and your drone batteries. And the last box which you see in the back is the manuals box which you can read if you like. Now we get to the most exciting part of the unboxing, the DJI Mini 2 itself. This drone is so so tiny and I mean you should take it in your hands and feel it yourself. It is so small and lightweight, which puts it under 250 grams, so you do not need any registration for flying it in many countries. At the bottom of the drone you will see two vision positioning sensors, which are the only sensors this drone has, and a propeller holder which is really nice that they have it included with the Fly More Combo Pack. At the front of the drone you will see a gimbal, which is protected with the gimbal protector. The camera of this drone is really amazing and capable. It shoots 4K up to 30 frames per second and even with the new update that the DJI released, it is capable of shooting 2.7K up to 60 frames per second. In order to use the drone for the first time, you should first open the propeller holder and then take off all the stickers which are holding the propellers and other parts. 
The prop layers of DJI Mini 2 are so tiny and also there are some beautiful orange marks at the end of them. In order to unfold this drone for flying, you should start by opening the two front arms first and then you would go for the two back arms. I'm a bit too overcautious with this drone because this is my first time using the DJI Mini 2, but it is not that weak and it is built really solid. This color combination of black, gray and orange marks are really beautiful on this drone. In order to open the battery compartment, you should first remove the sticker and then you can open the door. You see that one of the batteries is stored in the drone but it is not activated and you should charge it once to activate it. The gimbal protector has also, has also some stickers which you should remove so you can take the gimbal protector off. Always try to be gentle when you are removing the gimbal protector because the gimbal section of the drone is the most sensitive part of it. There are also some small stickers on the gimbal protect gimbal which you should remove and the drone and then the drone would be ready to fly. There are also some other stickers on the arms of this drone which I didn't remove in this video but do not forget to remove them before flying. In order to turn on this drone you need to press the power button once and hold it for the second time. Now let's connect the smartphone to the remote control and connect them to the aircraft so we activate the DJI Mini 2 for the first time. In order to do so, if you have an Android phone, you need to remove the cable which comes with the remote control because this cable is for the iPhone smartphones and if you are using an iPhone, you are good to go. But if you are using an Android uh, of and a new Android phone, you need to take that USB-C to USB-C cable and then you can connect your phone to the remote control. And if you are using an older Android phone, you should take that USB-C to micro USB cable in order to connect your phone to the remote control. For turning on the remote control, you hold the power button once and press it for the second time and hold it and then it turns on. The app also needs some permissions which I allow them. If this is the first time you are using a DJI app, you need to create a new DJI account. You can do this when you launch the app for the first time and log into your account. And something else to mention that if you are using an Android phone, you need to download the latest version of DJI Fly app from the DJI's official website because the one on the Play Store is not getting updated anymore at the moment. When the DJI Mini 2 connects to the remote control, you will see that it would appear on the app. I press the go fly button to activate my drone for the first time. I press the agree button and wait. Then you would press the activate button to activate your drone for the first time. After activating your drone you have 48 hours to join the DJI Carry Fresh plan if you like to. You should do this within the 48 hours of first activation. There is also a new firmware which I would, I would skip for now and do this later. I go fly and now I'm testing the DJI Mini 2 for the first time. Let's see if the gimbal works fine. The gimbal is working fine. And I will do the takeoff uh, test for the next time. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this unboxing and first impressions video. By the way, my name is Mehran Haddad. I'm a photographer and filmmaker. So if you want to watch more of this content like photography tutorials, videography tutorials, cinematic videos, drone videos, and many more other stuffs, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you do not miss any of my upcoming videos in the future. And also do not forget to hit that like button if you like this unboxing video. Have a great day and thanks for watching.